What's up, my pilots? Anger Poncho here, and we are back playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day. This episode, we need to find our way up this water slide of a ton. See if you land on it, it slides you right back down. So I don't remember if you can just jump and sort of run your way up it. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the best way to get there, so. I think this guy's little book might help us there as well. Sorry! Yeah, so to leave the real trick here is to enter through the nasal cavity, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, no, dude. Ah, oh, falling off and taking hits. It's no good. I don't want to die. Nah, dying from, taking fall, from fall damage is actually fairly common in this game, because if you fall too far, you just get an instant death. Conquer doesn't know what Link knows, which is that you can convert your downward momentum into forward momentum by rolling. As we, as Eric and I explained at the beginning of my Ocarina of Time LP, I thought this was just a, you know, just an example of basic physics. But apparently, squirrels haven't figured it out yet. I actually saw a, a YouTube video. It was a clip of a show. I forget what the show was. It's one of those modern. It's like one of those warrior science shows where they. Hello, that's wow. That's some bad breath there. Anyway, if you climb into this guy's dude, don't. All I'm trying to do is climb into a dinosaur's nose, and it's just, it's so tough. Ooh, look at him, look at him, like he's sliding like he's on a water slide or something. That's great. Attention to detail, my friends. He probably never makes that... Oh, I'm gonna take another hit again. Damn. Ooh. He probably never uses that animation except for that one tongue, and it's still enough for him to put it in. Anyway, you come in here, hit B. A little pepper in there. Right in the nose. I think we might want to wait for him to... Yes, exhale again before we attempt to jump into this one. And the same thing here. Oh god, he had his mouth open and everything. Jeez. Thankfully, due to the invulnerability, Granted to conquer during cutscenes, he is unharmed from what would otherwise be a deadly fall. Just wanted to point that out. Check out that UV look back here. Dude, things are tense. Yeah, watch out. You don't actually want to get hit with it. It will do damage to you. <laughs> Same goes for all the ones in here. So, let's see. Do we want to go to the liver or to the kidneys? Uh, I think we should go this way first. No, I'm kidding. There's no organs in here. This is another area. Uh, well, I guess he could count those little dangling uvula deals as organs. I don't know. I gotta say, that was one of the funniest parts of Osmosis Jones. That whole movie was just kind of gross. Bill Murray's just a gross guy. <laughs> oh. Okay. See now. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of suits me. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. Con Conquer is sort of... I mean, I guess you could say he's a cute character. I don't know if you guys would agree with that or not. He's kind of a... He's like a... He's... It's like he's a, a cute little squirrel on the outside. And on the inside, he's this evil bastard. <laughs> Did anyone else get that, get that feeling with Conker? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go next. I don't believe we can get to that zone over there. I don't... I think so, at least. I suppose we just go out the way we came. Yes, yeah, so if I remember correctly, that that is the the proper course of action here is to return from whence we have come, from whence we have come. Yes, have have come. Right. Oh, past, present, perfect, whatever it is. What's down there? Looks like it's just a hole in the ground. Oh, yeah. I guess it's just another little obstacle. I don't know why they put that there. Actually, there's a hole. It, it seems like it should be a pit, rather than... I don't know, I guess you get to choose whether you want to go past the evil obstacle, or whether you want to just climb out of those pits. I don't know. Watch out when you first reappear here, because the uvula can be in mid... Oh wait, no, it's a cutscene. Never mind. I thought when you came back out, you could get hit with the uvula. Hmm, maybe not. Conker's walking. Walking down the tongue. What a clever disguise. That's quite comfy, there. Uh-oh. I don't think they like us wearing their hats. Oh, not these guys again. I think they love us wearing our hat. Their, their hat. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. 
I know, I'm great. I know. Yeah. Okay, those rock monster guys up there. Do you like them? <laughs> well, I don't like them either. It's time to get rid of them. <laughs> sure? <laughs> okay, follow me. Follow Squaffagy? Alright, let's go, boys. We got work to do. <laughs> and now that we have a posse, it should be much easier for us to gain access to the nightclub. Not the smartest posse, but still. You kind of lead them around. I think that their their pathfinding is fairly robust. They'll, they'll basically figure out where you're headed. Or... They'll be complete idiots. Another chanting. Follow Scrabachi. What are they saying there? Is there actually anything comprehensible in that? It doesn't seem to be. Anyway, I guess you just run them over here and then you can run them up the ramp. <laughs> the repetitive chanting is actually gonna get getting a little grating, I have to say. <laughs> Might have been overkill there, but whatever. You know, there's an area transition up here. I don't think it actually matters if they're up the ramp or not. Or no, there isn't. There isn't. I thought there was an area transition between this, but I guess it's only in the back of the guy's throat. I don't know if there's two guys up there patrolling will join you or not, but I don't think you need them. So. They're keeping up. You hear them chanting, but I don't see anybody. Where are they? I'm not sure where I lost them, to be honest with you. Did they make it up the ramp okay? No, they did never make it onto the ramp. I can still hear them chanting as though they were right in my ear. This way, guys. Come on now. It's not so hard. <laughs> I have to wonder if I'm just running up to their dance club. Oh my god, one of them just got hit by a boulder. Oh, and those two as well. I think they're alright, though. Wow, these guys are resilient, I gotta say. Nope, oh, and Conquer is not quite as much. Alright, come on, guys. Don't stand still for so long. Are they coming up the ramp? Yes! All four of them. Alright boys, let's do this. We've got a club to bust up into. That's a gate crash. Are they making it? Yes, they are. Hang out near the outside edge here. Farther from the part where they could fall off. Definitely a good idea. And if they get really close to you, they're going to want to stop and pray. So you need to keep a little bit of distance. <laughs> I have that problem in real life all the time when I'm in Walmart, you know, people see me, I, I get too close to them, and they just can't, they can't resist the urge to pray. Now you see those guys back there got caught on the corner, I need to go get them. Come on now. There we go, that should get them around where they need to be. Wouldn't that be awful? I can't imagine what it would be like to be a celebrity and have people recognize you all wherever you went. Oi! Okay guys, let me have the first pop, and then they're all yours. All right, I got my frying pan at the ready. Let's do this. Come on. Now this is a fun scene. These guys come in and they get kind of smacked, but they got these bone or stone clubs that are pretty nice. And they get them. Look at that. All four of them still intact. Sort of a team-based combat here. <laughs> oh, and Kong takes a hit. And Congo digs a hit, he's down in the second round. I saw on the news yesterday, or today maybe, that some 46 year old boxer is now the uncontested world champion or whatever. I thought that was interesting because his competitor was a lot younger or something like that. Anyway, we're going to continue roughing up these rock monsters until we get access to the club. Because otherwise, we'll kick the bouncer's ass too. You see, those stone clubs are really effective, and you, if you gang up on them, you use your, all four of your guys at once like this, you can really do some damage. I'm gonna take this. I said no sneakers. Buzz off. Um, I think you'll let us in somehow. What with my friends here? <laughs> do those all cave right, guys have sneakers on too? I'll stop this out. So, what do you say? Hmm. You seem like my kind of guys. Okay, but I need the password. Password? What? Guys, do you know what the password is? <laughs> what? No, no, no. Fidelio? How do you know that? I know everything. I'm the king. Foreshadowing. Will be. Didn't you see the prologue? Uh, no, not actually. They're just breaking oh, the fourth wall nothing. again. Can we come in? 
Yeah. Let's have some fun. I know everything. I'm the king. Did you see the prologue? Oh, it's great. I love this game. Man, you just can't you can't escape the beauty that is Conqueror's for Bad Fur Day. This is. I wonder how late in the N64's life did this game come out? Because it it sure does seem to have some fine modern humor. Hey, we know that girl. Now, come to think of it, the person who originally kidnapped her was one of these rock monsters, wasn't it? She seems to be having fun humping the walls of that cage. <laughs> this is another area that sort of amuses me. <laughs> because you see the people out here dancing on the dance floor. These... I don't even know how to describe these women. It's like, are those made of stone? They shouldn't bounce if they're made of stone. And Congress dancing, too. Again, attention to detail. Not graphical detail, content detail. You stand still on the dance floor, rather than doing his usual uh, play with Game Boy, juggle, drink soda, look at a magazine, etc. He dances. It's just, there's so much in this game that didn't have to be there, but they put in anyway because it was good content to add. Alright, a couple no locations to note here. We got a first aid stand up here. And you know what that means. It's time to get smashed. So over here we've got a... Uh, uh, one of those kegs. I think there's actually that's not the first thing we need to do though. Let's look around. Ah, yes, there's a guy back there passed out behind the bar. Is it the bartender? There's nobody tending this bar, and this keg is just unmanned. Maybe this is the bartender. Party got a little too wild for me. Decided to just crawl through a ball. Uh, anyway, this is supposed to introduce you to the, to the dynamic and the fact that you can roll these guys around. We've done that once before on the outside when we had to break into the caveman side of the world, so not a totally new idea, but they wanted you to realize that that switch I pushed on the way in, you probably noticed the cutscene stopped us from moving. Yeah, they they want you to put two and two together here, and it's not it's not too hard. I figured this out without a whole lot of trouble at all, actually. This is fairly straightforward. So you put that on the switch, it doesn't even bother showing you what it did, because it showed you the first time. And you can then you can run over here and find out where this little hole goes. Maybe we can get up there where What's that girl's name? Barry? <laughs> you want to call her Bambi? <laughs> some good stripper's name. <laughs> and then up here you have some more dancers. We're actually above where we were. We fell into the hole. You can see now we're... That's uh, Bambi's feet down there. Ugh. Maybe one of these stone girls is named Bambi. That would... That would, that would fix it. Anyway, so up here... Ah. Changing a couple things around. And we step off of this. Hmm. Okay, looks like this is going to be a multi-step process, and uh, it is. Let's give you a little spoiler here. Oh, man, I thought I did the tail whip well on that one, but still took damage. Yeah, you got to you do that tail spin late, like when you're near the near the ground, but you don't want to do it too late, or you'll start falling so fast you won't have a chance to stop yourself. Uh, I guess we have time to go ahead and try this. Time to get smashed, Konka. <laughs> Oh my god, I saw this cutscene so many times. I got stuck here for like an hour on my practice run. I just, I could not figure out what to do. And I watched an LP to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do. Because I got the idea down, I just couldn't do it. And I didn't realize that uh, with the L button, you can projectile urinate rather than just use the... You just push the B button. It's only going to go like a foot in front of you. And I was trying to do it this way. But, it's interesting. You pee on these guys and they curl up. And then, oh shit, I messed it up. Oh, he's gonna kick my ass. And he will kick your ass. You gotta, yeah, he's, you're slow and drunk, and the best you can hope for is to stumble over to where the first aid is. Because you can't jump, so you can't get, you can't jump onto the counter. And, oh boy. Yeah, you run over here, get the Alka-Seltzer, man. You actually, you can't until you're uh, done being drunk. I'll just pee on these guys too, why not? Hey, uh, what are you doing? I got the one caveman has a bone stuck in his fro. It's hilarious. All right, Conker, you hung over now? Yes. Contact sensitive. B button gives us Alka Seltzer once again. She apparently just swipes out of thin air when he puts his hand near the wall. Exciting. You see, it's you may have noticed in the beginning when we were during the Clockwork Orange parody that the milk in the glass didn't tilt very well, the graphics weren't, weren't quite perfected. But that's the sort of thing that you, you really can look past in a, in a game that's just as, as funny as this one is. And people would 
you really could give this game a hard time if you wanted to nitpick about graphics and things, but to be fair, it looks good for an N64 game. Then that on the face is, is an accomplishment. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is get this a nice lined up even square shot to roll this guy into that hole back there. Try not to overcorrect. It can be kind of tough. Oh, get in there! Oh, come on. This is like trying to get that stain off the side of the bowl. And you just like keep spraying until it it's gone. I'm sorry, I'm being disgusting now. I feel like Nintendo Capri Sun is... Oh, come on, get in there! He's right on the edge! Oh, jeez, he's gonna kick my ass again if I can't get him to fall in. Are you serious? Oh, come on, he's right there! Go! Yes! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I love how your stream of urine is still there in the cutscene. Yeah, you're gonna want to zip up and go get your aqua seltzer for this because you don't want to stumble back there drunk and hungover and have to vomit your way back. So yeah, always head back over to the aqua seltzer. Yeah, and we're hungover just in time to have relief. Oh, thank goodness. I just want to point out that in order to beat this game, you're required to pee on a minimum of like seven people, seven characters. Because we get those four fire guys. Well, there, really, there were two, but they kept spawning at four at a time. And then you've got three times you actually have to do it here, the three separate cave uh, stone monsters, whatever they're called. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. Oh, okay, careful. You see, you don't want to push this off the wrong way. You really got to be careful once you have this guy up here. If he falls off, it's going to be a real pain to get him back up. Now what you want to do is wait until she rolls back in, and then go ahead and bring him across. Oh, because if she... Oh, dude, I don't think he fell off. I did. Okay, I think we can still salvage this. I hope so, at least. Dang! I think damage until I go down that. Oh, he fell, didn't he? Damn it! I just do it over. That sucks. Oh, you see, I didn't tell up in time, and I, like, I couldn't do it at all. Okay, he's back over here again, so... I think in the next episode of Let's Play Congress Bad Friday, I'm going to pee him back up there, and then I will meet you back. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Party hardy!